21 years is a very long time and a lot has happened since then. I think it's a passion and a challenge. The passion is there, it'll never go away. It's about horses, it's about watching your progeny perform, uh, watching your horses compete. And the challenge is to stay up there. It's about watching your progeny grow up and perform and testing your judgment and, and, and watching the outcome of it. And I think that is, that's where the reward comes in. I was very, very, very fortunate to come across uh, Don Kumaka as a foal. He was a little skinny thing, but um, watching him canter, uh, there was something in him that really impressed me. He's really sweet. Um, he's he's my prince. He really is. He's not a nasty stallion. He's a sweet stallion. He's a he's a, a giving stallion. He's easy to work with on the ground. You know, he really tries hard. He's exceptionally careful. He doesn't want to knock a fence. Um, and he's getting on in years now. But um, you know, he had those four Derby wins, and every time he won the Derby, I felt like he was fighting like a lion for me. You know, he wanted to. To win and every time he stepped into the derby arena small as he is he grew two hands every win has been special but i have to say the first time i mean it was my first derby it was his first derby but that was unbelievable unbelievable i will never forget that paul nardo um, i watched that um, at the selection in, in holstein as a, a two and a half year old and that kind of horse, when you see it, immediately your blood starts flowing and it makes you excited. And the first time I sat on him, I knew he was different. He was just, he was a machine. I mean, he was so well balanced. He had such a quality canter. He just got everything I asked him to do. He got it immediately. I mean, there was a stage where I actually had to step back because he just did everything. We had to kind of just take it slowly because there was nothing that he couldn't do. Um, then what an amazing story to go from South Africa and, and what an amazing ending to be in the gate stable yard and I think he's invaluable purely because um, you know anything you ask him he, he will do, he will jump uh, anything. One meter sixty with a professional, with an amateur, I mean he's been with Harry Smolders, he's now with Jennifer Gates so I think that's where his true value lies. The program used to be loose jumping on the 16th and then Saturday we had to fill in with uh, under saddle presentation and uh, stallion presentation and then the auction. We have decided to try and do away with the, with the loose jumping and do the presentation of the, um, the under saddle on the Friday evening. That makes the Saturday a lot shorter. So this year we're going to present them on the saddle on the Friday have uh, the stallion presentation on the, on the Saturday morning, have a little bit of a break for people to have something to eat and to enjoy the day, and then start with auction. My goal is to breed horses that compare with the best in the world. And that's a, that's a, that's a, a big ask, so, and, a, and a huge task. You have to collect the, 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 the right bloodlines, um, you've got to be able to use the right stallions. For us in South Africa, it's a challenge because the protocol to get semen here from Europe from the better stallions is quite an issue. But ultimately, um, we try and have horses on the auction that are the best that we possibly can offer. Therefore, um, I have a breeding operation in Belgium where I keep a certain number of mares. And all those foals come here, and they get produced here and get sold on the auction. No horse gets sold out of the auction. Every single horse goes through the auction, and that gives people the opportunity to be able to bid on the best.